Did you hear that? Cat Williams threw serious shade at Kevin Hart in a bombshell interview with Shannon Sharp. Cat's calling out Kevin like never before, saying he's done anything and everything for fame, even things that go against who he really is. I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? Cat's not holding back this time, claiming Kevin's been playing parts he's uncomfortable with just to get ahead. And guess what? Kevin's not having any of it. He's super mad and is hitting back hard. Kevin's planning to sue Cat for talking smack about him. Looks like 2024 is heating up already, and we're just getting started. Cat really went all out in that interview, dishing out the dirt on Kevin like nobody's business. It's like a storm hit Hollywood and nobody's safe. Not even the big shots like Diddy or T.G. Jack. Cat did something nobody expected in a jaw-dropping three-hour interview with Shannon Sharp. Instead of his usual jokes, he went all in on exposing Hollywood's dark side. He called out everyone, leaving them scrambling to respond. Cat's out here making it crystal clear that he's the real mastermind behind Money Mike. He's not just saying he acted the part. He's like, I wrote those killer lines, decided on that wild hair, and even had a hand in those funky outfits. Talk about owning a character, right? Because I wrote the words for Money Mike. I designed the hair for Money Mike. I collaborated with the wardrobe department and made outfits to make sure that no one in America would be wearing what Money Mike was wearing. I told them to go get the Prowler. I then told them to paint it purple. I told them don't have an actor as playing a pimp. We could get an actual pimp Archbishop Magic Don Juan to play. Like, I... I did far too much work. And get this, the Prowler, that flashy purple car, all Cat's idea. He's not about faking it either. He pushed to get an actual pimp, Archbishop Magic Don Juan, on board for that authentic vibe. But here's the kicker. He's totally calling out Ricky Smiley, saying, nah, you weren't supposed to play Money Mike. Sounds like Cat's not having it with people trying to ride his coattails. It's like, step back, folks. This is the Cat Williams Show. The biggest bombshell? Cat slamming Kevin Hart for being too hungry for power. This this isn't new. Cat's been on Kevin's case before, accusing him of selling out for fame. Remember that time he said Kevin pretended to be gay on SNL? That hit hard. This whole dress wearing controversy in Hollywood isn't new either. Dave Chappelle stirred things up in 2006 during an Oprah interview. He shared a crazy story about refusing to wear a dress for a movie with Martin Lawrence. Dave was like, no way, I'm funnier than a dress. He even said that they had a backup script ready when he refused. It's wild. And now, Kevin Hart's caught up in this. After Dave's comments back then, everyone wanted to know what Kevin thought. Initially, Kev brushed off the idea of compromising his morals for fame. He was all about protecting his brand, even turning down a silly basketball stunt on a talk show because it didn't fit his image. But then, plot twist, Kevin appears on SNL rocking a dress and a wig. People start whispering. Was Kevin always okay with this? Is he just chasing fame? Sure, Kevin was already a big deal, but after that SNL gig, his career blasted off like a rocket. Suddenly, he's in all these major movies. Of course, fans had a lot to say, forcing Kevin to hit up Twitter, defending his choice. I wore a dress on SNL because I thought it was funny. I am my own boss. Now, when Cat Williams got wind of Kevin's dress up, he wasn't surprised. He pointed out that Kevin was just following a trend in Hollywood where black male actors often wear dresses to hit it big time. Cat's like, why single Kevin out? He's just a part of a bigger picture. So, it's true that there are many rumors in the industry suggesting Kevin might just be an industry plant. Someone planted in the industry to take Cat's place. These rumors caught fire, especially after Kevin's SNL stint. Meanwhile, the media's dragging Cat through the mud, painting him as an addict. But Cat claps back in 2016 with a fierce rant, clearing his name and proving he's clean. The controversy surrounding Kevin Hart being labeled as an industry plant by Cat Williams gained significant attention, particularly after Hart's appearance on Saturday Night Live. Cat Williams made these allegations on Club Shay Shay where he questioned the rapid success of Kevin Hart in Hollywood, implying that Hart's achievements might not be solely based on merit. He highlighted how Hart got prominent roles in movies and his quick rise to fame in Los Angeles with a sitcom and a lead role in the movie Soul Plane. In response, Kevin Hart denied these allegations, emphasizing his hard work and dedication over the years. He addressed the claims on social media and through various media appearances. Hart expressed sadness over Williams' comment and suggested that Williams was harboring unnecessary anger. Cat then disappeared from social media, only to make a comeback in 2018 with more bombshells. He started calling out Tiffany Haddish, labeling her another power-hungry player in the industry game. 
Kevin Hart had a lot to say about Cat Williams and his complaints about the comedy industry. He thinks Cat blames others too much, especially Hollywood and the white man, for his career not doing so well. Kevin pointed out that Cat missed a lot of important work stuff, like promo shoots and trips, which made movie studios think he was too risky to work with. That's why, according to Kevin, Cat's career isn't as good as it could have been. But Kevin didn't just criticize Cat. He also talked about how important it is to help others in the industry. He mentioned how he used his fame to give a hand to other comedians like Melanie Camarcho, Linnell, and Leslie Jones. He questioned whether Katz has ever done the same for the comedians who worked with him. Then Kevin talked about Tiffany Haddish and some comments Kat made about her and other female comedians. He defended them, saying they're liked for being real and working hard, not for any other reason. He thinks it's not fair to say that their success is just because of who they want to date or anything like that. Kat wasn't about to let the wild accusations of him being a crackhead slide without a word. He jumped onto Instagram to set the record straight and called out Kevin for spreading what he claimed were blatant lies. Kat didn't shy away from the fact that while Kevin was out there ranking in a whopping $85 million, he himself wasn't hitting those same financial heights. But to him, it wasn't about the money. He even prided himself on earning a cool million a month while still keeping his integrity and soul intact. He mentioned how comedy legends like Richard Pryor were also labeled as crackheads, suggesting that such allegations were almost a rite of passage for comedians of their caliber. Cat even threw a challenge out there, jokingly advising anyone who could find a doctor that could elevate them to his level of success to sign up immediately. Cat and Kevin have been going at it for ages. It's like two cats in a cartoon, always trying to one-up each other in the public eye. Then, out of the blue, Cat just ghosted everyone on social media. Poof, like a magician who forgot his own trick. But just when everyone thought he was chilling somewhere, Cat bounced back like a boomerang with a story that could make popcorn pop without a microwave. He dropped a juicy tidbit, claiming Kevin had secretly shaken hands with some big shot Hollywood honchos to boost his career. Imagine that, a handshake that's more like a magic wand for fame? This tale spread faster than a cat video on the internet. Whispers started swirling that Kevin, probably fed up with being the villain in Cat's never-ending soap opera, was getting his legal eagles ready to swoop in and sue. It was like watching a reality TV show, but without the need for a remote. Cat's accusations have been a thorn in Kevin's side for so long. It seemed he finally was ready to pull that thorn out with a pair of legal pliers. The internet was buzzing with talk about this drama. A lot of people thought that Kevin Hart was kind of taking over for Cat Williams. They noticed that Kevin became really famous around the time that Cat was having problems. Someone else mentioned how Kevin got super popular after a small part in Scary Movie 3 and wondered why people liked his stuff so much. The question hanging in the air now is, did Kevin really trade his soul for fame and power in Hollywood? It's a wild thought, but in the whirlwind world of showbiz, who's to say? What do you guys think about all this? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Smash that like button and subscribe for more.